Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a PDF carousel on LinkedIn um, in that PDF format so that you can swipe through rather than just clicking through. This was actually a requested video from one of our YouTube comments, so if you have any other questions or tutorials that you would like from us, let me know down below and I'll get them to you. But we're going to keep this video short and sweet, under five minutes, so let's just dive in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is save your design as a PDF. Um, I am currently working in Canva, however, if you just have like static images that you've collected all together, there are many different like websites that you can search up that are like PDF converters and they can take all those images and make them into a PDF for you. Um, but I just find it easier to drop any images that I'm working with into Canva because again, this was something that I had made in Canva. So it's just easier when I'm saving it to download it properly. But the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that they're all in the same size and they're all in a LinkedIn size. The LinkedIn size is four by five um, or just like these ones, for example, are the standard Instagram sizing that you can set on um, Canva. So that's usually what I do for all the posts because these are going out on Instagram as well. But what you're going to do to save it as a PDF is you're going to download it like normal. So click the share up here and then click download and make sure all of the images are selected, which they are. And for file type, it automatically sets as a PNG if you're working um, with static images. If you're working with video, this isn't gonna work. But you're gonna do PDF standard and then click that download button. And then that will download and you're gonna save it and bring it over to LinkedIn. So now heading over to LinkedIn, I'm going to go to my personal page or my client page, depending on what you're posting on. Um, this is the Toro client page. So I'm going to click create and then you're going to click start a post. And in this section, make sure you don't click media um, because this is different from media, even though it's images, it's a little confusing. But if you go to more and then select add a document because a PDF is considered a document and then choose the file and add it in there. Mine is right here. And then you're going to add a document title. This one is about like taking a break from work because it makes you more productive um, based on scientific facts. So I would just title it take a break. And that title is going to be able to be viewed by like everyone. So make sure it's like relatable to the content also could be great for like pushing SEO. So maybe like I would add like Toro Media in there as just like as an SEO boost. And then you're going to caption it um, and that will be live. I already posted this, so I'll show you what it looks like when it goes live. That would be down here. So it would give you like that scrolling option like we want. Um, posts like these usually do better on LinkedIn just because they're, they have that like interactive element. There is a post down here where I didn't use it um, and I wish I did because as you can see like in that LinkedIn preview, you're able to see all the images and it makes it a little less interactive. Um, like would I be like eager to click this and flip through? Not really because I can kind of see like what the images are without even having to click it. But up here like scrolling through makes it a lot more interactive. Um, and keeps people engaged with the post. Some bonus tips that I just like to add when it comes to posting LinkedIn carousels is keeping the text very minimal. And if you need more to say, then it's a swipeable post. So just move it on to the next slide. These posts also thrive when using big fonts and a lot of visuals on them. And also focus on hooking them in on slide one. We know hooks are so important when it comes to the social game now. That first slide is what they're gonna be able to see. So make sure that it's strong and makes them want to swipe. In the social game now, we know that hooks are stronger than ever. They really push users to continue viewing the content. So just make sure that hook is strong and makes them want to keep scrolling. And that's it. You now know how to make a LinkedIn carousel as a PDF. And if this helped you, please feel free to drop a like and a comment. And again, if you have any tutorial requests, we read them, so drop them down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for some more tips.